An expensive operation when it comes to elliptic curves is reduction in the base field, so reducing modulo p. And one of the reasons why curve 25519 is so fast is that it uses a prime for its prime field that is close to a power of 2, which enables very fast reduction. So optimized crypto implementations are not really in scope for this course, but I still want to give you an intuition on why that is so fast. So imagine we have a finite field, fp, and the prime number is close to the power of to a power of 2. So here we have a prime number 2 to the power of 2 minus b. So we have the result of a field multiplication. So if I multiply two numbers within the field, the largest it can get is 2 times its bit size. So it's bound by this, by this um, upper limit here. So, now I have a number that is large, 2 times as large as the modulus, because it's the result of a multiplication. And I want to get the equivalent number that is smaller than the modulus. So I want to take it mod the modulus. I can rewrite this. Um, you can follow this derivation. Um, later, if you want to, it's not that important for us here. I just want to show you that we have we can rewrite this equivalence if we want the small y to this w minus this term here, and the w is x modulo two to the power of n plus x divided by two to the power of n. Uh, floored times b and why is that a good thing well taking a number modulo 2 to the power of n just means cutting it off like looking at the bit representation if i take a number mod 2 to the power of 32 i just take the last 32 bits and throw the rest away so this modulo operation is actually just cutting off bits. Um, dividing by a power of 2 actually means nothing else than just shifting. So dividing by 2 to the power of n is a right shift by n bits of x. So x divided by 2 to the power of 16, for example, would just be x right shifted by 16 bits. So we have a cutoff and we have a shift, which are both very cheap operations. And we have a subtraction. And a multiplication, and that's multiplication. The m value is guaranteed to be smaller than b, and b was already small, right? So we can, instead of actually multiply here, Instead of actually multiply here, we can just subtract this term here from w multiple times, which is quite cheap. So instead of doing a costly reduction, we just need to cut off, shift, and subst subtract, which are all very cheap operations. But they become even cheaper if you think about how the computer actually handles big numbers. So. Imagine I have a computer that has a 32-bit architecture, so its registers are 32 bits wide, but the large number that you want to work with is 128 bits large. So if I now do a right shift by 32 bits, and the 128-bit number is spread over four registers, how do I do that? Well, I don't do anything. I just free one of the registers, I just don't use it anymore, right? Because that's the same as if I would have shifted everything by 32 bits right. So turns out the right shift by a power of 2, if the power of 2 is chosen correctly, is actually not even an operation. So very, very cheap. And the same goes for 
uh, taking a number modulo a power of 2. So same thing, we have a 128-bit number spread over 4 registers and we want to take it modulo 2 to the power of 64. How do we compute that? Well, we don't compute anything, that just means we want the lowest 64 bits, so we just ignore the other two registers and we have computed the result of the 128-bit number modulo 2 to the power of 64 without actually computing anything. So with curve 25519 we changed the costly reduction operation by 2 bit shifting, bit cutoff and very few subtractions. And the shifting and the cutoffs, if we implement it right, and they don't they aren't even operations. You just move registers around and that's it. So that's one of the reasons why curve 25519 is so fast. It's actually the ma major reason why it's so fast.